educating them on safe pregnancy practice. The team uses ComCare to help manage your clients and improve the quality of her counseling. ComCare applications support the work of community health workers like her team in over 10 countries. ComCare is an open source mobile health platform that strengthens community health programs. ComCare has two main technology components, ComCare Mobile, a mobile phone application for community health workers, and ComCare HQ, a cloud-based application for supporting program management, reporting, and analytics. ComCare Mobile is a versatile and dynamic application that enables easy electronic data collection, individual patient management, and complex decision support. ComCare is designed for flexibility and is adaptable to a wide variety of projects. It can run on simple Java-enabled phones or Android devices, while supporting multiple languages and non-Roman character scripts. ComCare is also adaptable to the community health worker. ComCare Mobile includes a special interface designed for low-literate users and supports multimedia integration. Image, audio, and video playback help community health workers better engage and interact with their clients. ComCare HQ, our cloud-based application, is a critical tool to help project staff manage and supervise their community health workers. Easily accessible from the web, project staff can use ComCare HQ to design and remotely deploy a mobile application. Project staff can inspect data and monitor performance through built-in key indicator reports. All data collected by the mobile application can be viewed here in real time and exported to Excel or other third-party applications. Community health programs can leverage ComCare to support community health workers to improve monitoring and to drive evidence-based change. For Fatuma, ComCare improves her ability to connect with her community. So if you looked at Dr. Gupta's slides, one of on in the smarter planet slide, one of the areas that probably had the highest potential for change and the greatest inefficiency was healthcare. So I'm going to talk a little bit about healthcare, which is where we focus, and I'll start with some data. So if you look at hospital beds, in the US we have 31 beds for 10,000 population, in India we have about nine. So the title of my talk is Comcare Where There Are No Doctors. There's a famous book called Where There Are No Doctors. And for, for all of you, and generally for our, us, the motivation is really different models of healthcare, where we're no longer reliant on simply doctor-driven healthcare. Um, number one, there are not enough beds, and number two, there are also not enough doctors. So we have six for 100,000 uh, doctors. So our motivation for the Magi is we say that we want to be millionaires of a different kind. So we want to change the lives of a million people, not necessarily just make a million dollars. Uh, so if you look at global health equity, the north and south is typically how um, people look at the world. So life expectancy in the north, in the more developed countries, 78, infant mortality. You know, in India, we're at a stage where we have aspirations and we have everything set for us to move to the more developed countries, but we have some of the worst, worst health indicators anywhere. So we have instant uh, maternal mortality 230 per 100,000 versus 8. So that means out of 100,000 women who give birth in India, 230 of the women die, which is unacceptable. There's nothing which is surprising about it to the degree. These are all controlled, controllable um, um, events. Infant mortality, 5 out of 1,000 is, is, is typically where the world is moving to. We have 48 per 1,000. So these are things which we have been working as a company at how we can use software, how we can use technology to affect change. So as a doctor, I always thought that, well, I'm a doctor, I can actually make a difference through medicine. And the reason for starting the Magi was, I said, well, for software engineers, there must be a way where a software engineer can actually save some lives. So one of my favorite hires was somebody who did a search on the internet. He broke software, broke poverty, and our company came up. And he got a job and has been working with us. So. There are companies like us who have shown that you can actually use um, software technology to affect social change. 
So if you look in Tanzania, if you look at the reasons for death, so again, I showed about 48 children out of 1,000 die. Um, the, the main reason for a lot of that is malnutrition. If you break it further, HIV, malaria, diarrhea, acute respiratory infections. Um, so the thing is, and, and this is the, 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 the greatest challenge with healthcare is we know what works. I was recently at the NIH where I met a number of people and um, had some talks in, in DC. And what I heard again and again was people saying, we know what works. And healthcare is a place that we really do know what works. The fact is we don't know how to get it to people. So two things which work, something called IMCI, Integrative Management of Child Illness. So we have a package. We know how to deliver these packages. A package, for example, may be a system. So you have to get every child immunized. You have to get every child birth weight checked. You have to do supervised deliveries. So we know that the system has been proven to improve outcomes. Uh, second is community health workers. So the video I showed is a tool which we developed for community health workers. In India, we have nearly a million community health workers, Alangaris, Ashas, ANMs. So we have a really robust system uh, in, in India to affect change. Data shows that they can help reduce neonatal mortality as well. So uh, mobile health is an incredible growth in this area. There's a big bubble in health where there are technologies as SMS. You can have pure SMS-based systems. We have a tool called Rapid SMS in that space. Mobile applications where it's um, an application on a phone. It's not just via SMS. And then health worker tools, which is what Comcare is, where we try to build a system around the delivery of the software. So the, the earliest work that we did, we started in 2002, was uh, in Africa. Today more of our work is now in India. And it was using PDAs. So using these little uh, handheld computers, we were looking at how you could automate clinical protocols. So for example, here's a clinical protocol for diarrhea. So this is taking one of the IMCI, Integrated Management of Childhood Illness. And if you look, we have, not only do we know it works, we have a very specific protocol that you can follow. Um, and if you look further, we, but it's quite complicated. So if I were to give this to a health worker, and all the health workers already have this, they have the books, but they don't know how to use that data. So what we've been able to do is take some of the data and just put it on a very simple computer interface. So if you automate a clinical protocol, you can improve adherence, you can make sure people follow through with it, you can make it data. Um, you get better, faster data, improved supervision, and have, you can then develop into more sophisticated protocols. So we did this study in Tanzania, um, and what we found from it was the data shows, um, so for example, these are questions you want a health worker to ask of a, of a mother or of a child. When in current practice, maybe 66% would ask about vomiting, but when you start using the electronic tool, you get to 86%. So only two of these were significant differences. Whether the child had measles or not was asked more frequently, and overall, there were more questions asked when they used the electronic tool. This is a very small study. The one of the challenges in application areas like this is the studies are small and, um, and, and actually few. So where we've been working on is looking at access to care, quality of care and experience. So access to care is, there's a woman in a rural area, um, a lot of them are not getting enrolled, they're not going to have supervised visits. One of, in, in India today we have a model where if you have your child born in a clinic, you get paid for it. A health worker also gets paid an incentive for that. But still there's a huge barrier to that, it's not happening, there's a huge challenges with access, access to care. Then there's a the quality of care. When you do have your visit, it may not be standardized. Instead of it being a full 20 minute intervention, it may be two minutes, three minutes. They're short. Sometimes sensitive topics, family planning is an area we're currently doing in Bihar. It's a very difficult topic for a health worker to discuss with the family. And by definition, these health workers have been born into villages. So as a health worker, you have to go and have a very sensitive conversation. They just ignore it, they skip it. And then they don't have enough training. They get trained typically once when they start, and then they get training manuals. Um, and experience. A lot of the health workers will not bring the flip books, bring their books with them. Their messages are not engaging. And people don't really trust. There isn't much credibility. Similar to the voice 
um, example here are given that um, if you can use tools to increase somebody's um, credibility, you can, you can improve how the message is delivered. And traditional monitoring, if you go into any rural system, you'll see paper, tons of paper out there for traditional monitoring. So what, what we've developed is a mobile application, Java-based. Um, we have both an Android and a data me based application where there's audio and there's, um, there's audio and there's cartoons. So if you were to press a button, it will speak to you. So one of the things we learned after doing this here is it's not enough to just do it in the local language or do it with images. You really need it to speak. So what it does is you press a button, and it will actually say the, say the message, speak the message, which is incredibly useful for those more sensitive topics, which otherwise you know, the health workers weren't addressing. So we're doing this in a number of states. With maternal and child health is the biggest area. Malnutrition is an important area. And we're doing some work now with disaster um, response and uh, a large project in Bihar that's getting started. Um, I'll show you one more video. Thank you. 